So we're going to go through this liabilities uh, Google spreadsheet. Uh, this is a little test spreadsheet that's based on uh, my actual loans and, and uh, lines of credit. Um, so anyway, it's kind of a useful little uh, tool to keep track of how much principal is left on loans or how much uh, lines of credit uh, do you have available. Um, so anyway, so this first part is, uh, first tab is loans and lines of credit. So it's just kind of a summary page. Um, let's ignore these first few parts on the loans and uh, get into the lines of credit. So at, at any time, I want to know how much credit we have available on our lines. And so we're using Tiller to keep track of our balances. Um, so you can hook up uh, Tiller to your bank accounts and then you know build a spreadsheet that'll keep track of your balances. And then you know maybe use the import range function to it's always keep track of that number and, and put it into this spreadsheet for the purposes of this one I, I just have it to where it's you know pulling balances from here so we're just kind of pretending that those would always stay updated um uh you know most bank accounts should should be in tiller so that should be a pretty easy solution um for the ones that aren't i'm going to show one where the bank account is not hooked up to tiller but i can get uh, balance notifications each day by email. And so in that case, I, I'm using Zapier. Um, Zapier hooked up to the email in this Google spreadsheet. And so every morning it is importing the new email, um, kind of this, this line of text into this column. And then I'm basically extracting that number and, and getting it to here uh, and then running calculations. So just a little automated way to keep track of, of those lines of credit. Um, the cost per month, you know, that's kind of manual just based on, you know, based on how much you're paying, uh, you know, we got our couple totals and then our grand total. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into our loans. Let's see. So for the purposes of this, um, you know, keep track. These are all estimates. Um, you know, our current principles are not exact, um, but they, they should be pretty close. Um, so the, these are kind of all your your fixed terms when it start interest rate. Um, you know, it's it's you know it's looking at months remaining based on today's date. So some of these values are gonna you know change uh, you know based on when you're looking at the spreadsheet, which is kind of nice that it's it's always updating uh, our payoffs. And then we want to know how much are we paying each month out in loans. Uh, what is our current principal balance original and how much have we paid down in total? Then we kind of look at the numbers in a little bit more detail out of that, uh, let's see, 7,300 that's going out each month. 1,800 is going out in interest and 5,400 is in principal. Uh, and then on 12 month basis, you know, what, what is that looking like? Um, so, and we're using this company uh, formula, which is uh, cumulative principal paid. Um, you know, read read more about it to see how it works. It's a, it's a little it's a little complicated if you've never worked with it before. Um, I'm going to go into our mortgage interest, just trying to calculate you know what our mortgage interest would be for a year. So you know, for 2017, we're basically calculating from January 1st to you know to to the end of that following year. So to do that, um, you know, we're trying to figure out what our first month would be, and specifically for loans that did not start on the first, it, it's best if we can include like what what is that decimal amount just to try to get mortgage interest numbers a little bit more accurate. So, and I, I know this is a very complicated looking formula. Um, we're using the dative function, uh, and we're basically uh, the first part is tracking the number of months um, from the payment start date to 1-1-2017. Uh, and we're also adding in the number of days to that month. So like the, you know, you can see it's somewhere between three and four months. So we're trying to figure out the number of days and multiplying that by a little ratio of, you know, this 30.4166 is just the average number of, of days in a month. So it's not, not perfect, but it's, it's not too bad either. Um, and this is a little conditional statement that basically if it's less than one, then we're, we're going to just, you know, in this case, uh, you know, because this loan started on 12, 15, 16, it really should be like somewhere around 0 0.55. Uh, but the, it'll mess up our comparing formula if we use that. So we just need to round it up to one. Um, so, and then kind of doing the same thing here for loans that started 
uh, in the same year of the mortgage interest. One is our starting number, and so our last month is is needs to be this very similar looking formula. So, and again, so really just using a lot of formulas. There's a little bit of data entry from the start, but then after that, you know, it's it's fairly simple. It's constantly being updated, and uh, it's kind of nice, you know, seeing your mortgage interest at any time and just uh, being able to to anticipate, you know, what kind of deduction you can get on your taxes. So um, anyway, I'll go ahead and stop the video here.